Electricity, a natural force harnessed and reproduced by man, has become the breath and blood of the modern human environment. Nearly everything we operate utilizes its power. The way we move, see, taste, feel, and hear is enhanced by its presence. Everywhere we look, humanity is designing and creating new ways to use power. Our most prized achievements require its abundance, and yet our society faces severe challenges to its reliable supply. We are dealing with congestion management, or the inability of the transmission system to deliver the full capacity of generation out onto the system to get to the demand and get to the, get to the load centers. I'm telling you is supplies were extremely tight for 2004 and it only gets worse as demand continues to increase in 2005. Despite all these challenges, our power generation industry continues to operate from a business model that deters efficiency and progress. We have failed to create the incentive for expanded efficiency and reliability in electrical generation that is required to meet our expanding demand for electrical power usage. Uh, I will say that in recent years under the appointees of former Governor Davis at the Public Utilities Commission, we have reversed the, the, the incentive and the mindset about the value of energy efficiency. Today, you know, that need for new investment remains critical and, and the utilities seem to want, at least some of them, to first negotiate things like market share and guaranteed cost recovery and belts and suspenders mm -hmm. on their side of the equation instead of helping respond to the needs that we have for significant new investment in electric infrastructure. As our population increases and becomes even more congested, we also face the important task of protecting our environment. It is time to replace the old, less efficient obsolete power plants with new facilities that meet our expanding demands while protecting the environment. Those are the plants that we're depending on to keep the lights on, and that dependency is going to get more tenuous as we go forward, and that's an area where we need new investment, shutdown and replacement of old generation with new, efficient, clean generation, and it's not happening as fast as it should. One company has led the industry in this development. Calpine was founded with a commitment to develop this new approach to power generation. With a strong history in construction management and consulting services in all phases of power generation, Calpine embarked on the most ambitious construction program in the history of power generation. Since 1984, Calpine has financed, developed, and built one of the largest and cleanest fleets of gas-fired and geothermal power plants in North America. Calpine has earned an enviable position. They control quality and efficiency from design to operation. We have built and we operate more combined cycle power plants than any other company in the world. Um, certainly probably three or four times more than any other company in the United States by very being very, very focused on combined cycle, uh, we're, we've become far and away the most knowledgeable and the best in the industry. Calpine's approach to building power plants has created unprecedented efficiencies and reliability, making Calpine the low-cost provider of choice. We know more about some of this equipment than the guys that build it in terms of how it's going to perform once it's installed. We can move faster and it's, uh, we, th we believe it's going to deliver us a better plant in the end because we, we control everything. Reliability. It's the measure by which electrical power is valued because electricity is the only commodity that is used the instant it is generated. Electricity cannot be stored and saved for times of peak demand.
Situated at the southern end of San Jose, California, the Metcalf Energy Center is the first full-scale Calpine Construct Plus project. It has been constructed in Silicon Valley, well known for its innovation, affluence, rapid growth, and high sensitivity to environmental and health issues. A proposal to build a power plant within San Jose's city limits. Calpine's challenge was to develop a 600 megawatt energy center that meets the Bay Area's high environmental quality standards for air, water, ground, noise, and appearance, while meeting the growing power demands of Silicon Valley. Uh, San Jose demand is actually in excess of 2,000 megawatts. It's probably more towards 3,000 megawatts if all of the dot coms, the ISPs, everyone was back into operation. Medcalf is in the right location. Uh, it is going to be a, an efficient resource uh, not only for San Jose uh, but the Greater Bay Area. Uh, and it's going to be a very important uh, part of our energy delivery needs uh, as far as Northern California as well. 